okay, all right, okay. 6 p.m. content time, boys. This will be 30 player pick packs on the day. We'll open these after I'm done having a quick little gander at what is available for 6 p.m. content. Twitch.tv slash Nick20ET. Uh, if maybe you're catching this clip randomly on YouTube, jump onto the channel. We're aiming to open 50 player pick packs today. We've got a brand new squad for Division Rivals. Uh, but let's see what 6 p.m. content is. Being that it's a Tuesday, I can't imagine it's going to be nuts. They still haven't given us a squad battles rule breaker for the this week. They, they're they just sticking with... I think First Owner Fiesta is new again, though. Oh, this is the most toxic thing on Earth. Oh, we might do this today. If we get through our Rivals games, we might do this today or on Wednesday. Hey, it's more packs, right, at the end of the day, so it just gives us more opportunities for good pulls. Any new milestones? Nope. We're chipping away, of course, at the MLS stuff. Next week, we'll probably build an MLS squad for this DeAndre Yedlin. Test out some of the heroes in the MLS, or the only hero in the MLS, I guess. I don't know. Right, so no new gameplay objectives, at least unless I'm blind. Um... Some items have sold through the BPM. We're also testing out the silver pack method right now. It's actually going pretty well, I gotta say. At least on PC, the silver pack method seems decent. BPM is the king still for profit overall, but silver pack method has uh, has been nice. And I still want an Ellen Road, so the hope... The hope is that we do pack an Ellen Road. Now, we've used his regular gold card, and he's been a very nice card to use. One issue... Four star, two star is horrible. But left wing, left back, left mid for a Bundesliga setup where then you can use him in a 3-5-2 or a 4-4-2 is cool. Now what got reduced versus what got added is the question. I gotta be honest, man. Again, I'm not overly impressed. I, I Unless he's super cheap to do. I don't, I have Alfonso Davies in my Bundesliga setup. So this guy already... Like, three weeks into the start of FIFA, even on my road to glory where we're trying to have fun, this card already is, at least for what I'm doing, useless. I, I, we've, we're building, a, we're trying on the RTG to build a best possible team for every league. Top five leagues, Eredivisie, MLS, Liga Portugal, maybe even the Saudi League, Icon team, right? We do it every year. Even if we run a liquid poor man road to glory, no FIFA point road to glory, we always try and build the best possible setups. Already, if you want to think logistically, or logistically is not the word, logically, why would I do this even on this account? I have an Alfonso Davies. That Alfonso Davies is as good as this card for now, so it just doesn't make sense. Now, if you're a, a German fan or a Bundesliga fan and you don't have a Fonzie or you want something different or you're a Salz, no, uh, Leipzig, Red Bull, Leipzig fan, you, you go get this card, of course, right? I'm not telling everybody to not do this card, but for me and my road to glory, an 85 rated player plus a bunch of 84s and 83s it's not expensive it, it isn't expensive don't get me wrong it isn't expensive but i still don't know if it's worthwhile doing i really don't know if it's worthwhile doing this is going to cost you what like 35k as well something like that insignia is like 30k this guy might cost you 40k like if you need somewhere to put your dupe on tradables i would say get this insignia really cool card Good super sub. And being that he's 87 rated, at the end of the day, when you spend 30k on this guy, you're almost, as always, getting all of your coins back in his rating value as fodder. Whereas this ROM is more expensive than this Insigne, and he's only 85 rated. So you're not even getting back more than 10k value, right? Uh, for his 85 rated um, fodder value. So for me... Uh, not worthwhile. I mean, for the Bundesliga, uh, I've got a, a, a as good or better left back. And even as a German, I've got that goose, right? The Gosens card, which probably will go up to an 86 or an 87. So just not needed. Cool card, but for me, not needed. And no way that's it for the day, right? Oh my God, they brought these back. No, I'm such a degenerate. I'm going to do these, aren't I? I hate myself. No, I know I'm going to do this. I'm such an idiot. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, is this cheaper to do now? Wait, what? You need to put 384s? Have they made this more expensive? Or is it cheaper? I'm confused. Was it all 84s before with an 85? Or was it all 83s with 184? 
No 85 needed, and they made it 83 instead of 84. Hold on a sec. Is this not barely 10k? Wait, wait, wait. Is this not... This is like... This is like 12k to do. These are worth doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These 80 plus packs with the new requirements, I think everybody should do these. I really do. One problem is 84 rated cards are going to boom up in price though. So if you've if you've invested in 84s, you've made quite a bit of money. But through the course of the next 5 days, anytime you get a, a, a an 84 that you can't deal with, this is where you put them. For sure. Also, thanks to the uh, 84s being there, you're only going to have to use 81s and 82s anyway. So oddly enough, 83s are completely useless. 84s have already doubled in price. I still think these are 100%. Team of the week, 1 to 5 as well. Oh my god, it's not 1 to 4. Why did I think it'd be 1 to 4? No, no, no. These are worth doing. Boys, these are worth doing. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them. We're going to do one for the epi today for, for 6 p.m. content. And the title is going to be, these team of the week packs are absolutely worth doing. So we need 484, 384s, sorry. Let's see exactly what the, what the requirement's going to be here. Um... So, one, two, three, and then I'm pretty confident that you're only going to have to use 82s here. Maybe even 81s. I'll throw in the 82s. Got a lot of them. Uh, Antony's got to the point where he's discard. So, I think I'm just going to yeet Antony. I mean, I don't have to just yet, but... Okay, so that's not 82 yet. So, three 84s and one 83. The rest can be 82s. I mean, that's so cheap. And I know, as always, if your pack luck sucks, your pack luck sucks. But once again, if you want to teeter on your no FIFA point road to glory on either having fun and not wasting your coins, but still giving yourself some fun in terms of packs, this pack fits the bill, does it not? It, it, it does. I, I I would say. 3 84s, 183, the rest 82s. About a 10 or 13k value for an inform that is going to have a discard price of about 10k in terms of the just the value itself. And that's if your pack luck completely sucks, which most of us does. I think it's worthwhile. I do. All right, cool. So let's open five peepees and the team of the week pack. I think content for today is resident sleeper, but player pick packs are fun to do. Um, and we have team of the week packs to put our fodder from 75 pluses into. So there we go. We get a Gabriel Paulista. That'll go towards the inform pack. We get a, okay, that's not going to go towards our inform pack, but we'll get an Ortega. That sucks. We get a Unai Simon. That will go into our, uh, a another 80 plus team of the week pack. Asensio goes into another Team of the Week pack. And Asar absolutely does not help us out. Okay. Um, well, No Man Left Behind. So you're going to get, even for the 6 p.m. epi, you're going to get a quick little example of No Man Left Behind. We'll just do another one of the Team of the Week upgrades. So that will be the 83 that we use. Got a good chunk more of 84s. No problem there. This fours in there. Always use the untradeable 84s before you use anything else. All of these are untradeable. Can go. 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 And I've already forgotten who the 83 dupe was. Oh my lord. Who's the 83 dupe? Look at how few 83s I have and I got a dupe. Amazing. Okay. Um. I wonder if 82s are expensive. This will be interesting. Uh, I might have to use one more 83 here and then the rest be 81s. That's okay too. Fine with that. 83s are discard price. They're the price of... Uh, Zacharia? Is he still cash money? Oh well. Whatevs. Let's just do that. We done with it. Okay. So we've already crafted two 80 pluses. We have eight more to go. While the price of 84s skyrocket. Um... Do it. We'll open two 80 plus packs for the Epi. Here we go. 
I mean, unless there's a dupe in form, then I will probably call it. So we'll open both of these right now, unless there's a dupe in form. Come on. Imagine we get Neymar. Oh, it's not even a walkout. I hate this game. You know what? I'll take a pass Veer. He'll go into our Air Divisi squad. I'm down with that. That he actually gets into the team. He's about 15k. He's also 97 years old. Still younger than Zwei. Second 80 plus pack. No boards again. I hate everything. We'll catch you on the flip side, I guess. 